Hello everyone, this is Tudor from your Pledge. If you want to know more about your Pledge, you can always log on to yourpledge.com or you can contact us by the mentioned email and phone number on this slide. In today's session, we will be talking about record types and we'll create different page layouts and assign to record types. And before we jump right into the record types, we need to create a couple of fields on the student object. So here I have mentioned a pick list a name. Uh, we'll create a pick list named optional subjects uh, with the below options. So to do that, let's go to the web browser. Here I have my username and password. I hit the login button and it will navigate me to my Salesforce free, free developer edition. create new fields uh, we have already discussed in our previous modules we have two options one is schema builder or second we can go to the object manager and from object manager we will uh, we will look for the object where we want to add new fields uh, in our case it's student click on student then we'll go to fields and relationships and uh, here uh, click new we have created text fields um, we have created pick list and this time we'll create a multi select pick list and click next and we'll give it a name as optional subjects we'll enter the values that i have mentioned on the slides c C plus plus Java R D B M R D B M S R D B M S and then uh, um, AutoCAD CAD and last one is Pro E. Okay, so I have added this, all those fields, click on next. Um, here we have all the list of profiles. I'll leave this as default. We have the, we have one layout, student layout, and uh, we'll hit the save. Okay, so now go back to the slides and now we will talk about record types and we will uh, We'll talk some uh, Some points about the record types and uh, then we will Jump into our developer edition org and we will see that see this thing in action Record types and page layouts in in the student app if we have to capture additional details about students knowledge in Java RDBMS, but do not want to capture or display these fields or non-computer science students, we can leverage record type feature. Any object will have a default master record type when the object is created. When we don't create any record type, still we have a master record type available. Uh, you can create custom record types and edit the pick list field available in the object for each record type. The record type can be linked to page layout and uh, you can add, remove required fields for such record type. Uh, more than one record type can be associated to a profile and this provides the option of users selecting the record type at the time of creating the record. You can also have one record type assigned to one page layout and one profile so that automatically the record type is determined for the new record being created depending on the user profile. Record types and page layouts continued. Uh, record types are extensively used in sales cloud and service cloud along with the business process options to include different departments and units in the organizations. 
provides great flexibility in storing the records and same object also supports different business processes needs. There are a few special picklist values available in sales cloud and service cloud like opportunity stage, case status, solution status, lead status. Once you, uh, once you know about uh, the record types, you can uh, edit the options available in these uh, already created uh, picklist values uh, or or we can or uh, we will be creating uh, uh, record types on our student object demo of record types okay for that i'll go to the browser and here we have option to create record types okay so um now we will create two record type one is for csc grads and other one is for non csc grads so to create a record type we'll go to the record type section here click on the new button okay so existing record type as i already explained when we create a, a, a an object then by default we have a master record type available so here we will give a name give it a name csc csc grads it is active and it will be available to all the profiles uh, we'll click on next so for this student layout uh, the default record type would be csc grads uh, we'll click on save and new again uh, we'll create uh, we have created csc grad and we'll create non csc grads click on active check for all the profiles click on next uh, and save okay so here um, if i click on record types so now we have two record types uh, and uh, but we didn't do any changes in the record types so so now to do the uh, to do the changes uh, we need uh, to edit up values of pick list fields so there is only one way to achieve that with that is to create the record type suppose uh, when i create the record uh, record uh, uh, um, a message will pop up which record type I need to choose. If I am choosing CSC grads, then in optional subjects I should not see that. Uh, I should not see uh, the uh, subjects related to the related to the non CSC. So uh, before I directly uh, added the pick list values in uh, in these record types, I'll go to the. I will I'll click on this app launcher. Uh, click on our students. I'll open it on next tab. And click on new now. Okay, so now we have options to choose from a CSC grad or non CSC grad. So when I cho choose CSC grads, uh, I click next. And in the optional subjects, uh, I can see CC, Java, RDBMS, and all other subjects as well. But uh, when I am when I'm choosing CSC grads, so I should see only the first four subjects, not the other subjects which are not related to computers so not not related to the students who are who are doing uh, who are learning computer science uh, i'll quickly cancel it and go to the students here in csc grad i click on the csc grad to edit the pick list 
here on the student object we have uh, three pick list available one is optional so optional subject is a multi select pick list and and city and state we have already created uh, if we want to edit the values on any of the pick list we can do it here but as per our requirement uh, we need to uh, update only the optional subjects here i click on this edit i'll i just remove this autocad and carry out and that's pro e um save okay for for non csc grad i'll click on non csc grad and optional subjects click on edit here um uh, I'll remove all these subjects related to remove. Okay, now I'll just do here quickly refresh the page to see the changes. Okay, now if I click new we have options to choose from a csc grads or non csc grads uh, i'll choose csc grads click next now see we have only four options available and suppose uh, and if uh, we want to create a record uh, without uh, without uh, without these subjects instead we want other uh, subjects like uh, autocads and carry and pro e so i'll click on cancel um, go to new I click non CSC grad, click on next, and here I I'm not I I don't see those uh, options like C C plus plus Java and R D B M S. Um, so this is a very important feature if we want to edit the values of pick list fields for particular uh, users, then we can then we can achieve the same with the with the record types and. Uh, we can assign uh, different uh, record types to different uh, page layouts as well. So here we have student layout. To create another layout, we'll create one field which will be available in one, um, uh, which will be available in one uh, page layout, and uh, we will remove from the other page layout. So to do that, we will create a new field um let's make a checkbox we haven't created a checkbox yet so i'll choose checkbox click next um uh, let's give computers so next um profiles leave it as default um click save Okay, so now uh, this computers field shouldn't be available uh, for for the CSC grads people, and but it should be available for non CSC grads if they want to opt for computers, they can do that uh, by clicking on that checkbox. Okay, so do that uh, to achieve the same. Uh, we'll create one page. We have already created one page layout, student layout. Uh, I just click on this page layout. Here on the layout properties, I can make it uh, instead of CSC st students, uh, I'll make it CSE students layout. Okay, and save it. From here, new button, we can create a new, um, we'll clone uh, the page layout that we have all, that is already created by default. So non-CSC students layout. Hit the save button.
Okay, so here uh, we have that checkbox computers. It should be available here. So I clicked on save for CSE student layouts. They are already CSE students. So they don't need uh, this checkbox available. So for this layout, I'll remove this with this minus sign. Click on it and save. Okay, uh, so now if we assign uh, one of the layout to uh, one of the record types that we have created, we'll go to page layout assignments. Click on edit assignments and here for non CSC grads, uh, we will change the layout from CSC student layouts. We will change it to non CSC students layouts and click save. Okay, so to test the same, I'll quickly refresh it. Okay, so now if I click on new, I'll choose non CSE grads, click next, and here I can see this checkbox. So it the same shouldn't be available on the CSC grads. Okay, I choose CSC grads here. So the that checkbox is not available here. So together, page layouts and record types are very helpful when we want to uh, hide some of the fields as for the record types. And if we want to edit the values in the page layout, we can always opt for the record types. Okay, so this is all about record types and assigning a page layouts to uh, assigning different page layouts to the record types. So keep practicing. Thank you so much.